4.33. So sort of a higher number than where I thought it would go. This is uh, Gabby Bryan. She's someone who's really impressed me. I feel like she's just getting... I mean, she fell here, but... Check out all the different setups. A lot of right-handers to enjoy. Getting past Winky Pop and then right here to the Bells Bowl. Higher tide, so a bit tricky. But we've got Sophie McCulloch coming down with a nice, clean finishing move to start building her way in a big heat. One of the great goofs of all time as we check out the replay from Sophie's start. Yeah, I was interested to see if she got anything done before those couple of carving maneuvers, but it kind of looks like here she's got that one sort of carve, carve back to the source, and then she just waited here for that inside section, lined it up, and uh, that score came through. I feel like she's probably one of the most powerful surfers on the tour at the moment. I'm with you. We should have a power off. <laughs> just see who can throw the most water with the most precision. As you see, Gabby, Brian in motion now. A kind soul, but very committed. Wanted to beat everybody on the tour. Working with Richard Dog Marsh. As she's stalling, waiting. And then throwing in a beautiful arc in the pocket. Really had to earn it there. As you can see, that face is really filled up on this higher tide. I saw Dog just a second ago walking up the steps. We've got to stick to the bowl and Gabby Bryan, um, Made some sense out of this last wave. She did. This was a really tricky wave to surf. I mean, you just look at the, the face of this wave. There was a lot of lump, a lot of bump, and she had a good read on it. It was a tricky wave, though. I don't, I don't see it going too high, obviously, here. on The score going too high, obviously, here on the inside. Just things gotten pretty slow, and you sort of see a little bit of disinterest there from Gabby. She's going to kick out of there. And she had a paddle. And she starts moving down the line here. First little snap off the top. Opened up with a 4-3-3. And she'll use her priority on this wave. Sophie from the Sunshine Coast, way up north, is now setting up a nice bottom turn, attacking that white water section really well. Gets out in front, but there's nothing waiting for her, so she's just got to reset on that Pizel. And going the distance, nice connection there. She'll get that little redirect, slingshot left, go back right, fill in a finish. So she had to get a bit creative with picking her turning points there, but did well to now back up the 4.33. Here at stop number four, and we'll catch up to this wave, though, the last replay of Gabriella Bryant. Yeah, I loved what I saw here from Gabby. This happened uh, during that post-heat interview with Lulu, and... It was a bigger wave. She connected to that second section really well. That timing was just there. And right now, I just got to say it again, but it's, it's tricky out there. There's so much lump and bump, and she negotiated that pretty well, had a really good read on that wave. It's got that patient stance, emerging out front, set up slash there. Gathering some speed once again on that last turn and just kind of fading. Really looking for a lip to hit. She finds it there. So nice patience from the reigning world champion. My opinion, probably going to be the best way of the heat. This is what Caroline got done out the back. We didn't get to see this. So I was really interested to see what it looked like. And OK, wow, maybe maybe this one could uh, trump Gabby's wave for the best one of the heat so far. There were two beautiful backhand hits from Caroline. She's sort of just waiting for this wave to stand up here on this inside. She's got a nice read on it. And as we know, she gets the finish here. So. That's a great way for them. that as well, because Bells was kind of instantly one of her favorites as she had a semi-final here in a rookie season. As we go to Sophie McCulloch now, a little bit late to that section, and she'll go straight down. Regular foot or natural foot surfers that have won this, and two goofy footers, and it's the same person, Frida Zamba, winning it twice. Wow. And that's it. Isn't that crazy? That's wild. Uh, that could change, especially with uh, Caroline Marks in the form that she's in and how close she's come to getting there. Tati came close as well, runner-up to Steph Gilmore a few years back. Gabby Bryan belting that section, showing her power. Another big rooftop hack for Gabriella. She's going to try to lay low to show the judges she's got control. That's going to disappear, and here is Gabby a bit of a hard take off those ones that are in the white water and you're on your gut sliding around trying to push back up is super hard to do. So a bit of time went by until she got 
got to work here. So we'll see if she's going to better this 4.23. It's the score she's got to beat. Gets it through to the inside. I don't know. I'm at touch and go for me. I'm not sure she's going to improve on that 4.23 with that last one. Oh, Caroline out the back. Caroline with a healthy looking wave there. A lot of open face to play with. She'll just continue to S back and forth in the pocket. You love those transitions, just rail to rail, not hopping, and then she'll just kind of work her way into a rhythm until she finds a lip to hit. So she's been earning her sections in the seed. Uh, we'll have a look at, break down this one. And she goes straight up into the lip there, sort of a big floater to transition through to this second section. Cuts that cut back a little bit short, and she just keeps weaving back to the, set, back to the power source. Really waiting for this last steep section. She gets up into the lip there. Ooh, looks like this set's just going to clean them all up. Sort of looks like a bit of a big, wider roger when I was, we see Caroline. Caroline grabbing this wave. Looks like she's just snowboarding on that wall. Fading, there's that neutral stance that Aki was talking about, then an aggressive whip vertically to shut it down. Cool, cool performance from Caroline. You know, she's got a lot more to give. I felt like she just did well manufacturing some sections on her back end and her coach, Luke Egan. Caroline getting the win. Gabby Bryan in second, and Sophie will have to deal with the elimination round. Coming up next, world number one hits the lineup. Molly Picklum takes on Isabella Nichols and a wild card named Ellie Harrison.